75, you know, we try our best, but you know, he gets to his spots, you know, he goes in his spots, he works on every day as a 75 center, you know, he's gonna make them. So uh, we try to do his best to be good, to eliminate the guards from getting into the game. Um, but you know, we just fell short. Is that what comp was it the game plan to stop Edie that led to a lot of the threes that they had? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like um, you know, they're they're a great three point shooting team. Mm -hmm. Just to start off with, but uh, when, you, when you're trying to guard somebody seven five, you're gonna need a little extra help from the guard. So um, us trying to go in there and dig to help out DJ or whoever was checking at the time uh, opened up shots for them. Life lessons over the last three weeks. What you learn? What did everybody in this locker room learn over the last few weeks? Um, you know, I think everybody learns the value of winning and what it, what it can actually do. You know, a lot of people say, I only want to be winners, but, you know, if you actually go out there and do it and you experience it, you know, I've never seen um, that many fans before in my life. So um, the tension that we've gotten over this, these past three weeks has been, you know, overwhelming. And um, I don't think that, you know, we, we could have ever done that if we didn't come together as a team and really understand what, you know, the true value of winning would be. Can you put into words what this run has meant to not just you know you but NC State community now that it's over? Yeah, it's been magical. Um, you know, there's been a lot of disrespect on NC State basketball for a long time. So um, just to know that after this year, um, you know, me and my brothers went out there and did, you know, there'll be a lot of respect for NC State basketball now, and um, we could hang the banner. Talk about that a little bit more. You know, playing in a football stadium. Just what was that like? You know, you kind of hit, talked about the fans, but just the, the atmosphere today. Yeah, it was crazy, man. You know, as a basketball player, this is like you know, um, on the mountaintop. And uh, just going in there, it even sounded a lot different. You know, you, you hear cheers from a, a regular arena. Hearing cheers from that one just sounded so crazy. But, um, you know, it, just a blessing to be here. I'm glad I got the experience here with my last year. And, you know, it's not over yet for me at least. DJ, what are you most proud of over these last 10 games to close your college career in this round of years? Um, I would just say just, just the jumps that I made in my game. Um, coming here, there was a lot of doubt and everything, um, especially, you know, coming from the Pac-12, coming from the NBC. You know, ACC is a big, big, you know, strong conference and everything. So for me to have so much doubt going in and then to prove everybody wrong yet again, um, how much of an impact would the rebound discrepancy have on the board? Yeah, um, they definitely had a lot of um, discrepancies. You know, if you're not getting rebounds on the offense or our defense side, their offensive side, um, it, it gives them more shot opportunities. So, um, you get more shot opportunities, you like to make more. So, um, I think that that's just a great thing. This tournament is so much fun, but it's it's cruel at the end, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I mean, you can't win them all. Wish we did, but um, you know, just the, the memories, how far we've gotten, when everybody probably got it, it's good thing we can get here, you know. Um, it hurts right now, but you know, I'm gonna walk out of here with my head up. DJ, that stretch the second half, you guys, Ben was it kind of locked down ED and, and you guys were getting some steals when he was holding the ball low, but you guys couldn't make a shot in that period. It seemed like those were all the shots that have been falling for you guys for the last ten games. They all kind of stopped falling at once. Yeah, um, you know, just that I give, I give a lot of credit to Purdue. You know, they're a great team. Um, they wouldn't be here if they weren't a great team. So, um, yeah, I would just say uh, we probably lost a little bit of focusness, um, our focus in that, in that stretch, and uh, that's probably the biggest difference. What about the lift that Breon gave you guys? I mean, you know, like one minute in the NCAA tournament, and he comes in and gets a big shot, takes a heat check. Three, yeah. Yeah. I'm a bingo card. Yeah, he, he, he get you know, we've always had the next man up mentality with this team the whole year. So um, for Brianna coming to do that, you know, it's not surprising to me. You know, he's a great player. Everybody on that bench is a great player. You know, everybody's opportunities are really looking a little different. Um, but for him to come in and do that after, you know, sitting a couple games, you know, it's easy to just have a bad attitude, a bad body language when he came in and gave us exactly what we needed at the time. You guys have talked about like the what changed, right? And it was like the defense, cleaning up mistakes, got on the boards. I mean, did you feel like you were still in check with all that stuff tonight? Did it revert back at all? I think we were definitely locked in. Um, there were times where, you know, they would punch us. We would go down and then we would come back and get it close, tied in. Um, so just to know that we went out there and um, 
didn't quit, even though there was adversity thrown our way. You know, it, it's like I said, it was a great team. So um, we didn't expect to go out there and just have our way with them. Uh, so the fact that you know the game went the way it did all the way up to the end, you know, um, I can live with it. TJ, how do you feel that you've grown as a man from the guy that left Tempe to the guy that's sitting here today? Yeah, I would just say, um, every, like, just from a whole general standpoint, just the maturity level has uh, gotten a lot better uh, for me. Leaving Tempe, um, I would say I was a little immature. Um, I wanted to have things my way a lot. Um, and coming here and playing for Coach Keys and, and this group of guys has taught me to, uh, how to be a better leader and, uh, like I just said, and, you know, be a more mature. You know, it's the it's tough to look back at it now, but how proud are you of what you guys have been able to accomplish as a team? I don't think it's going to really set in for me until you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maybe after the fact. But um, just seeing that sea of red in this you know, big football stadium today has kind of it gave me a little picture of what you know what we did and you know how many people are happy about it. PJ, you mentioned that you feel like you matured more at NC State. Was there a moment or anything in particular that stands out about how you maybe matured through this process? Um, I would just say coming in and, and, and being one of the guys that's looked at to be you know, a leader. At all my previous stops, um, I was just kind of somebody on the roster and he's coming in and um, kind of had to work for everything. But uh, the difference coming to NC State, you know, Keith was looking at me to be that guy. And that's something I never really had before. So. You know, taking that responsibility and not, you know, getting too big-headed or, or you know, whatever the case may be, I think was the biggest jump for me. Who are some of the players that maybe stand out uh, to you throughout your career that maybe had some of those leadership calls as you were, you know, a young guy coming up? I would say uh, in my first stops, I would say Zach Copeland and J.C. Hillsman. Uh, I think Zach is playing in uh, a pro league in Vancouver now. J.C.'s with the Orlando G League affiliate and um, Arizona State. I have to say probably uh, Marion Jackson. He was a, a great point guard at Toledo, came in and taught me a lot of things. Um, so yeah, I would say those guys. DJ, what, what do you think this run means for the future of NC State basketball? Like, what, what happens next now that you're gone? What, what did you guys do to, to change that trajectory? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think we kind of set a standard. I think we, we set expectations uh, for the teams to follow us, to you know get back here. This is the second year in a row now, you know, made the March Madness tournament. Um, so hopefully, you know, their first year going back after a while, they only, you know, got to the first round this year and made it to the final four. So, you know, hopefully next year we go with the whole thing. In a moment at the end of the game, you know, as your teammates, would, usually teams hold, hold their heads down after a tough loss. Everybody had their heads up. Is this symbolic of the type of team that this is? I think so, you know, just from when we lost the last for the regular season, going into the ACC tournament, we could have, like you said, walked in there with our heads down, ready to pack it up, but uh, we had new life, it was a new season for us, and um, that just speaks on a lot of, you know, the character of our guys. Thanks, DJ. Thank you. Just the biggest thing you're doing right now is more appreciation for the run, and disappointment. How do you sort of balance all that right now? You know, a lot of emotions going on right now. Um, obviously, you know, I wish we would have won it. Um, but just to know, you know, we got this close, it, it definitely hurts. Especially when, you know, there was multiple chances in the game where um, we pulled it in close, could have gone on a run, and just couldn't quite get over the hump. So uh, it definitely hurts. When you saw Mike go out, you know, how much work he's put in, how valuable he's been during this run, what, what were you sort of thinking in that moment? How do you feel for him, you know, all the work he's put in to get to this point? Yeah, you know, you, you definitely got to feel for the guy, man. You know, I, that was just like me a couple weeks ago, you know, go out of a you know, big time game and you don't really know the status and everything. So I, I definitely felt for him and I was just talking with him the whole game, trying to trying to see what, how he was feeling and if he was going to be able to come out there and continue to, you know, play with us. But um, uh, I think whatever he might have did, you know, probably banged himself up pretty bad. As a 919 kid. How proud are you of what you've accomplished this season too? Yeah, I'm I'm very proud of myself this year. Just, you know, my route to get here, the journey and everything, the doubters, the naysayers and everything. Um, you know, I came in and, and, and really did, you know, what I said I was gonna do. And uh that that was, you know, put myself in history. DJ in the second half when you got the struggling score there. 
it wasn't like they were beating you guys down. I mean, how frustrating was that when you were so close and you couldn't get over that? Yeah, it's frustrating for sure, especially when, you know, you're the team that's not supposed to be here. Everybody's, you know, you know, basically doubting you, saying you're going to lose and everything like that. The magical run ends here and all that. You know, for us to go out there and be so close and be chipping away with, the, you know, probably national championship favorites, uh, it definitely hurts because it, it just it just shows us like, you know, we could have had it. We could have had it, but, you know, that's the game of basketball. Um, the ball can bounce either way, you know, and that can be different to the game. When you left the court, y'all gave more signs and applauded towards the NC State section. What type of message were y'all trying to convey? Yeah, you know, just wanted to thank everybody that's, you know, been supporting us. Uh, I know it's been, you know, not the easiest to support us the whole entire year, especially in the beginning, but uh, to see the success that we had late and then everybody, you know, get behind that. Uh, it definitely gave us a lot of motivation. It made us feel very good. And uh, that was just, you know, our way of showing appreciation for everybody.